four-year-old boy has been found dead in bushland not far from the Brisbane River. I found a jacket. It had blood on it and it went missing. Mr Lanikas doesn't remember a jacket. I think someone's trying to set me up. Tell me what was in the bag that you threw in the river. And don't lie to me. This isn't right! I love you. It's taking me to see the fireworks, or I swear I won't come back at all. You are running out of track, Ben. So what else did you want to know? How you got home. It's the finish line. She on her meds? What do you mean? You'll figure it out. We could have another. What? Nothing. He's representing Christie, so I've got to find a new solicitor. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sorry, I have to go. Are you okay? Yeah. Ignore what I said earlier. No, it's <sighs> fine, really. Okay. So, see so you. Soon, yeah? Yeah. Dinner. Great. Okay. Hello? Dad? Hey, Chuck, are you okay? I hate it here. I'm sorry, sweetie. Look, I hate it that you're there, too. It's not home, Dad. I want us to be home. No. Come and get me. I can't. Then I'll come over. No, no. Sweetie, that wouldn't work. Just stay at Uncle Malcolm's, OK? Look, I got to go, but I'll call you soon, OK? Did you yet? When do you go back over? Fine, next week. What do you want? Unopened. This isn't for headaches, is it? Bipolar disorder. How long has she been on them? She's been taking that stuff since I met her seven years ago. And Carl reckon she's been taking it since she was 15. Why not take him? And what happens when she doesn't take them? Paranoid. She used to accuse people of things. Wake up in the middle of the night thinking I was going to kill her. Well, I saw what you did to her living room. One night I woke up, I had a pain in my side. She'd stabbed me here. And here. Before I got the knife off her. Well, why didn't you tell the cops? She's my wife. Mother of my kid. Mr. Gundelak, Detective Cornell would like to have a chat.
Mr. Gundelak. What do you want? How was Mr. Manane? What do you want? I just want to clear something up about the night before you found Tom's body. You went out drinking with your friend, David Carroll. Do you often go out drinking to excess with Mr. Carroll? No. What made you go? Why do you want to know? Because now I want to. Why? You cheated on me. I have a right to know. Tell me who it was. You fight about Ms. Benane? I'm fighting about a lot of things. But it finished on the subject of Ms. Benane. Jess Benane? She said you wanted to know. I waved to her every fucking morning. It's Asian history. It was five years ago. Where are Chris? you going? Are you going to go see her now? No, I'm going out. So you went out drinking with Mr. Carroll. A few hours passed. He put you in a taxi? So he says. I don't remember. Maybe a black and white cat. Pulled up here? Pay the driver in cash. Shut the door. Taxi reverses. And then drive down the street that way. And then what? I went home. I opened my gate. And then I went inside the bed. Didn't go across the street? No. It's funny. Because, look at this. What we can make of it, she pulled up, paid the driver in cash, shut the door, cab reverses, and then... What happened? You must have made a mistake. Maybe you thought I was on the other side of the road. I really don't remember. Anything else you want to tell me? Did you get home before me? I couldn't have. Could I? No, I, I, I don't remember. Well, neither do I. Uh, what? Um, yeah, I, I might have put something extra in your drink that night. You what? You spiked? Well, it's just liquid ecstasy. 
Well, strictly speaking, it was GBH with a little bit of Molly to balance, but you're not supposed to mix it with booze, but you were so stressed, mate. And what and I... does it do? It was supposed to relax you. Mate, I can't remember half of what happened. Yeah, well, it, it can do that too. Fucking hell, Dave! Well, I'm sorry, mate. I was actually trying to help. What? And you didn't think you should tell me this? Well, I didn't think it would matter. Fuck! But Benno, Benno, <sighs> mate, it's, it's easy. Just you show the cops this, yes, and they're off you, and they're onto her like flies to shit. That's not enough. It is, mate. She's a psycho, and this proves it. It's not enough, OK? They have so much more of me than that. Well, you've got to find that bloody jacket. What are you doing? Ben. Put that down, please. What happened? Put her down. You should go. You should tell me about the Territor. You really should go. Or what? You gonna do to me what you did to Paul? Get out. Where's the jacket? What are you talking about? It's the one that I found. The one that vanished. You were here when I chased that guy into the bush. Where is it? You think... You think I killed my boy? mine too. You think you know then? You think you know what it's like to lose a child? You have no idea. I did lose a child. You've still got yours. <laughs> You'll pay for this. Jess Manane had a daughter. She died. Charlotte. Sudden infant death syndrome, eight weeks old. 
When he knew about the Territor? And before that, the Valproate? And the Lithium? And you know that she stabbed Paul Monet? That's the jacket that I found. That's the one that went missing. Had you seen this photo before? No. Had you been in Ms. Monane's bedroom before? How did you know it was in her bedroom? How'd you find it? She invited me in this morning. What for? It was on her bedside table. And when did you find the urn and the jumpsuit? Jess called you. What did she say? That you broke in without her permission. She took a photograph without permission. And that you struck at her. She hit me. She's crazy. She lies and I think she killed Tom. I know how it looks to you, okay? I know you think that I did this, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know that he was my son. I wish I had. I wish I had, if, if I'd have known. I'd have loved him. I didn't. Why? Why would I kill him? We'll find that out. Thank you for coming in to see me. We'll return this to Ms. Benane. Hello? Yeah, it's me. Is she there? What? Is Eva there? She's not with you? Why do you think I've been calling you, Ben? Is she there? Oh, I just got home. I mean, she called before. She wanted to come over. Well, you better look. And you better not be lying. I don't know. Eva? Eva? Ben, have you seen Eva? I thought Christy took her to her brother's. Leave me alone, Ben. Is she in here? Eva, is she here? You've lost your daughter now? Huh? Feels horrible, doesn't it? Eva! If you've done anything to her, let me in! Let me in! Hey! What's going on? I've called the police! If you've heard her, I'll kill you.
Sir, do you have a moment? I need to ask you a few questions. I'm going to look for my daughter. You can do what you want. You can look in my house. I'm going to find my daughter. Yes? That's Corny L. We found Eva? No, I'm just checking to see where you are. You know where I am. You guys are in my street. I have just one question. You had sex this morning with Ms. Manane. And? Was it consensual? What? What are you talking about? What did she say? Talk to me, Mr. Kandalak. There's a very serious allegation. I want to hear your side of the story. My side? Listen, I've uh, got something on the stove. Just give me a sec, will you? Where is she? You're in the space. Where's my daughter? Oh, Eva! Oh, Eva! Eva! Oh, Eva! Oh, Eva! Oh, Eva! Hey, I didn't do it, Cornell. Arrest her. Arrest her. Mind your head, Mr. Gundelak. Arrest her. Arrest her. Cornell, arrest her. Sir. 
Sir. What is it? You better come have a look. What the hell's going on? Eva's been found safe and well. <laughs> Where? At her uncle's. Kids, eh? All that panic for nothing. Well, I want to get a solicitor. Does Christy even know I'm here? The 49-year-old fisherman was airlifted to Cairns Base Hospital where he remains in a serious but stable condition. The police investigation into the murder of four-year-old Brisbane boy Thomas Manane has been reignited with the detention of the boy's mother for questioning. The 32-year-old woman was taken from her home by homicide detectives and is assisting them with their inquiries. This comes after the recent release of Benjamin Gundalak, who had been a figure of intense speculation after finding the boy's body in mid-December. Lawyers for the woman insist she was not involved hey. in her son's death and will fight any charges. A police spoke. What did you get? Uh, muscle and beef, green curry and golden parcels. Yum. Do you want to get started on the mortgage papers? We should eat first, yeah? Good idea. Where's Eva? Eva! Jeez, not again. Eva! I'll have a look. Won't you... Yeah, um, Dad's inside, Mum, too. OK. But I'm glad to catch you. Gotta get these ice blocks inside. That's fine, take long. Had us all quite worried that day he disappeared. Told my mum I'm sorry. Where'd you go? Streets around Uncle Malcolm's. I spoke to a bus driver. Apparently a girl who looked a lot like you 
caught a bus out here that afternoon. So? So it wasn't you? No. I really gotta go. Your father was quite desperate to find you. He thought Ms. Vinane may have harmed you. She killed Tom. He broke in, which was wrong. Searching a house for you. We found a jacket there. I saw the news. Before he went over, I was talking to him on the phone. So? Well, he didn't hang up the phone. We had to scrub the audio. The booster was quite faint. Jacket in Miss Manane's laundry. One sixteen pm resuming interview with Eva Gundelak. Now, Eva, I'm going to read back over what you said before lunch about the death of Tom Manane. Do you understand? Anything I say that is incorrect, you please stop me and tell me. You said... It happened the night Mum and Dad fought. They fought before, but this time was different. It was loud, and I went to listen. I heard Mum saying she wanted to leave Dad. Tell me who it was, then. No, I'm not going to tell you who it was. I won't say nothing. Okay, you promised me you won't say. Another thing. Tell me who it was. It was Jess. Jess. Jess Minay. She said you wanted to know. I couldn't let Mum and Dad break up. Couldn't let Jess Minay ruin our family. I had to make her leave the street. She wouldn't stay without her boy. If Jess didn't have Tom anymore, she'd go and leave Dad alone. I waited till Dad got home. inside and I waited for him to go to bed. I had a key because Tash used to babysit for Jess. We didn't get to the jetty. He didn't like the rain when it got heavy. I want to go home. Come on, don't you want 
see a fish? I want to go home. Come on, we're almost there. Tom? Mommy! Tom! Tom, get back here! Tom! Mommy! 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 So I hit him. I hit him on the head with the torch. I had to to make him quiet. And then I didn't know what to do. It was too heavy. It was too far to the river. So I left him there. Things kept going bad when I got back to our street. His mum was already looking for him. Tom! So I went behind Mrs. Bailey's house where Dad found that weird guy. That's where I had to leave the jacket. still be asleep. Must have been right behind me. Things kept going wrong. When I went back for the jacket, it was gone. And then I found out you were looking for a torch, so I thought, if I put Dad's torch back, you'd leave him alone. On Christmas Day, I heard Dad get up early. I followed him up to Mrs. Bailey's house. And I found the jacket there. That weird man must have taken it. All I had to do was put it back in her house. Now her, meaning Ms. Manane. But Mum, Mum made it hard. <laughs> I just wanted us to have a normal Christmas. But it wasn't. I came back with Tash, but then she came home. We'd only been gone a day, and she was already after Dad. Tom was gone. We'd gone. But she was still there. I took a bus from Uncle Malcolm's. I got the jacket and I waited. Eva? After that, I waited in my cubby. And when I got back home, Dad wasn't there. Dad! You know, you should have listened to Dad when he said he didn't do it. Anything else you'd like to tell me? I'm sorry. None of 
this would happen if I just got Tom to the river. <laughs> um, Mrs. Gundelin, <laughs> this is your copy for you to sign as guardian. Abigail Gundelak, I'm arresting you for the murder of Tom Monet. No. You'll be taken to the White House. The charges will be made immediately. It'll be before the children's court. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Not sure what the magistrate would decide for him. <sighs> Mr. Gunnell. Take care. 